And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Tom Kench. Man, it's been a really long time since we played Soraka Tom Kench. Um, we got a donation deck to try it again in this new format with Aurelia Azir running around all over the place. Of course, Aurelia Azir wants to attack a lot with all the blade dances. And so maybe a deck like this that can heal, uh, you know, that, that can block and then heal your units that just blocked. Um, maybe that could be a good um, thing to do against Aurelia Azir. At least that's what the person that donated for the deck thought that maybe that's the case. And so wanted to see it out on stream. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try. So we're um, playing a list here that uh, is pretty stock. We do have the full copy of three Bastions and three Astral Protection at the four mana slot. We got a Star Shaping in here as well. One Divergent Pass to help us find Star Spring because of how important Star Spring is to our deck. And nothing else too real, you know, nothing else too surprising, I don't think. A lot of two mana combat tricks with Guiding Touch, Pale Cascade, and an extra one with a Sunblessed Vigor. Um, and then, you know, like our normal units here for Soraka Tom Kench. All right, so let's go ahead and, and give it a try. Let's see if we can control the board with our champions. Here we go. We'll go play five games in ranked. So we don't have any champions and don't have Starspring. Those are the three most important cards in our deck. I'm going to send it all back because of that. Um, Hush and Fortune Croaker, I could see keeping those two. Cool, we found a Hush again anyway. We, we have three Hush in our deck, but you know, like they are a Nasus deck. We're going to want Hush for that. Well, we really want Starspring in our champions. <laughs> Okay, to start a prediction. No Star Spring, no champion. I can't really do anything except for mulligan all my cards. Like we did. Where did this card come from? Just using my mana. I don't really have anything to do. I can Bastion and then challenge Zillion. I can Hush and challenge the Undying. Meh. All right, got a champion. Probably gonna have to hush this. Probably gonna have to hush this undying sooner or later. I do have like Tom Kench that could eat it though. Of course, I wait until this round to be able to play Tom Kench and have protection. So that thing's still hushed. Hopefully they don't play anything else, just pass the, pass the round, because they have 10 cards in hand, so they would burn the top card of their deck. We love it when they run. Gross. I'm sure there's 
something for my taste. Another time bomb. So the time bomb didn't blow up the spell shield. I was surprised about that. I was kind of expecting it to blow up the spell shield. I still have ten, ten cards in hand, so they kind of have to play something. Gotta find a gift for an action. Right, right. Yeah, merciless hunters are really good. Should I eat a merciless hunter? We put Tom Kench down to one. Where there's a will, there's a meal. I'm gonna pass again because, like, they pass, they again burn cards because they have ten in hand. I still have ten cards. Good thing we killed the Zillion. It's really considering challenging a Merciless Hunter. Star Spring would be so big this game. We're gonna make it really difficult to kill this um, this immortal fire. I think it should heal back to nine after after it dies, because I think I don't think this goes away. Um, because you know it says full, fully heal me instead, so yeah, that should it should just heal back to nine health after death. Found Soraka, good draw. Soraka can heal Tom Kench. So it looks like they're using Undyings to turn on all sorts of card draw from Shadow Isles. If I play Soraka right now, they can have like two Vile Feasts to kill Tom Kench. To be honest, it's not really the worst thing ever. Of the stars. Could also just heal this box to plus. Every step, a new journey. It may honestly be better for me. It's not like this Tom Kent is really doing much, and it's vulnerable. Pride was my end, as it will be yours. Appetizers of plenty. Wow, that'll do. Because yeah, like they're just not gonna really be able to deal with that, um, that celestial. Today we have determined our own fate. And that's why you play one star shaping. 
Oh no, Aurelian Soul Shivana Zoe. All right, this is a this is a deck that plays a lot of hush, a lot of combat spells, some challengers. Zoe's really difficult to deal with. Lots of stuff that's annoying to deal with. So we're gonna have Crusty Codger Soraka. I guess I'll mulligan the star shaping because that's you know not for a while. Okay, Boxtopus can help challenge Zoe. What do I want to be until round four? I mean, I guess it could be round two, but like if we want to keep Boxtopus alive. Trading either of these for one of their two mana three twos isn't necessarily a bad trade for me. Oh, Blue Sentinel. That card's amazing. Speaking of things that are bad trades. So we're setting up. I am watching you, dragon. So I can eat the dragon, but then if they have single combat, we're in a lot of trouble. By we're in a lot of trouble, I mean they just kill Tom Kench. I think we have to try it. Please, no single combat. Just play Sharp Sight. Okay. Do I think Elise Spiders are in a good spot right now? Oh, they had single combat. So I can hush my Tom Kench. And then they don't get the dragon back. I guess that's the thing to do. That was the one card where you know if we just if they just don't have it this round, you know, net then we start getting Bastion and Astral Protection and like we're we're pretty good, honestly, right? Like they needed that this round. Uh, unfortunately, they had it. Okay, we have another Tom Kench. I just can't five five. Can't kill this thing with Boxtopus. I will find the goodness in you, River King. Who only provides temporary sustenance, child? I'll be very sad if they have concerted strike. Okay, draw two dragons. We know they have a, a couple other dragons in hand. This feels like a real losing battle for us. These Demacia cards are pretty good. Alright, 
good game. It's having Shivana, Screeching Dragon, and Perfect Interaction, that beats lots of decks. Good game. So this will be interesting to try out. So we're going to face Aurelia and um, Azir. So we got the Star Spring. We'll mulligan these two. Keep Soraka Star Spring. Kind of need a couple more. You know, like we can't just have Soraka, right? Like we need another unit or two. You know, we need another couple of units. There we go. That can continue to block. Also, Check out these moves. Yeah! GGs. I think withdrawing this Tom Catch, I think I'm just gonna kill this thing because this thing gets so big and everything. I don't know. With having the Tom Catch, we'll see how that plays out for me. Just like we practiced. So, got the Star Spring in play. So, we can block these 1 1s from the Blade Dance and re heal. No champion, no Aurelia or Azir. Definitely makes it look pretty good for us that they don't have either of those, but it's still early. This game is nowhere near over. Stand behind me. They won't hurt you. If they hurt you, I'd never forgive myself. Yeah, let's try to eat the sparring student that's gonna keep getting real big. Come on in. Alright, chomp. Chomp it up. Everything's better with company. Says you. I wonder how worried about Hush they would be. Probably not very worried, so I'll just play the Soraka. They'd be playing around it. Go no further. Because Soraka will draw us a card. It's at three out of four. So like Star Spring, heal these. We'll draw a card. Watch me now. They'll never see us coming. Oh, attacking with the two ones. Follow my lead. What? So they could have like the. We got like the plus one plus one buff. Oh, they're just attacking to level up Aurelia. Okay. I got you. Alright, level up Soraka. Yeah, we had to eat that student before he becomes a master. Live with purpose. Where there's a will, there's a meal. Um. Be at peace. So the the problem with eating first is of course my Tom Kench is just a two three. I guess I could eat the Green Glade duo. I was you know, I was wanting to get rid of the Aurelia, but maybe I should just play, you know, like they probably have like a bounce spell. Maybe I should just play this Boxtopus first. Play Boxtopus, but let's see. I only have three mana left. Like if I play Boxtopus and try to eat, that's only three mana left, so I wouldn't have Astral Protection. Oh yeah, home yeah, that's true. Homecoming's a thing also, isn't it? 
So, so yeah, we definitely got to keep the four mana up. So yeah, let's let's try to eat this, and then we can full heal with the Soraka attack. We can also kind of see what they do, and if it turns out that we can just play Boxtopus, we can still do that. Yeah, so Homecoming. So we got a Bastion. Which is unfortunate, not what I wanted. But Homecoming is a good card. Alright, so we have Green Glade Duo and Sparring Student captured. My Starlight. Take heart. Live with purpose. That was a good homecoming. It found his ear. We got the big, scary elusive out of the way, but of course now they have the Aurelia that's leveled up that's going to be able to make these blade surges. Oh, I don't require me. What terror so Whatever they are, we face them together, little Blossom. Closer, friend. So you don't need to be too worried about Blade Surge. You can just go like Astral Protection. Yeah, the, the bug that, that showed the... Like, that was probably me looking at the eye whenever... Yeah, that was me looking at the eye that showed the, the Sparring Student. In play. Take heart. Live with purpose. Basically, just need to survive this round. So what is me, Mima? I need time for commune talk. This you know. The dance for two hearts united in one. Yeah, it's true. If they would have just held on to their blade surge, then they could do. Yeah, like they could have won this for sure if they would have just held on to the Blade Surge and just... Because then with the double... Because then attack, they create another Blade Surge and they attack again, create another Blade Surge. And basically, I can't block everything. Like, I can't block the Dancing Droplet. So you just have your Aurelia switch spots with the Dancing Droplet that I don't block. And then have your... And then after that, then have your Aurelia switch spots with the Azir. And so they, they just make it so, my, so the Azir is unblocked and kill... You know, and that kills me. Go no further. Yeah, double blade surge was a win. Shurima, see what I have. Carry it with you. Emperor, I am on it. Arise! There is a system! I understand. Another nibble. We down to two. Yeah, like double blade surge is definitely a win. You 
are better than this. Against, like, if they had Blade Dance 2, if they had the card that was Blade Dance 2, I did have, like, the Hush. They could make it so I only took one, but I guess I should have played a unit first for just better protection. Yeah, that is pass. Yeah, so if they got if they had the four drop, I, I would have gone down to one. Have determined our own fate. Okay. Um, LeBlanc Renekton. Renekton. Um, Hush does seem like it could be pretty good for this matchup, so I'm, I'm gonna keep this hand. I like the box to put Soraka together. I like the Hush against something that gets buffed up really big, like especially a Renekton that gets buffed up really big. And Guiding Touch can help out the Boxtopus. History forgets, but the Black Rose remembers. To heal and so save protect. mana to be able to help protect. My move. They're scared. They're scared. Uh, they they were scared of pale cascade. That should not have been that difficult to say. Could also be. So I don't want to see like the. I don't want to see bloody business, right? Like if I just play box pose right now, they could bloody business. That'd be annoying. Let me play this first. So they would bloody business my box to of course. The soul wears away like grains of sand. Hubble's been doomed! But his knee out! Ah! I told your ancestors to protect! Hey, right! Where are you off to? Not the best outcome for me. We do have an extra card than what they do in hand, but obviously they have a lot better board. I hate having to put my face on. You pay, I got the spirits. These are my rules. Surprised to see me. Disintegrate. see a world of, like, I could see blocking there, but having some nexus damage against us isn't the worst thing. I've been propagating quite the appetite. <laughs> I see feast in your future. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. Gonna find a gift for an action. Right, Arda? There's so many of these things. Yeah, as Ruthless Predator was that combat trick that my opponent played the other round. really well. I just have to draw off Guiding Touch, I suppose. Um. Okay, so if I hush here, does five, then two, then... I guess I can hush there and trade. 
Of course, hoping to draw Astral Protection. But... And now I can't play anything else because I spent that two mana on the Guiding Touch. These things having fearsome, these merciless hunters. That was really rough. Soraka, we need some card advantage. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. Nothing can stop me. Cut him down. Wrap him up tight. I think they play Decimate. I should probably just start shaping. Yeah, I should just start shaping over here just to be safe. Okay, so we're not going to behold another Celestial card for Supernova, who could take the Immortal Fire, but I'm actually just going to take Living Legends. We'll have another two cards next round, but still Living Legends would find six. Now be seven. Only a four. I guess I shouldn't have played the Star Spring. I would like to just go Golden Sister Traveler. Not really. We are currently 2 and 1 with Soraka Tom Kench trying to squeak out this victory. What once was two, now is one. Wow. We got the pass still. Yeah, I couldn't get the elusive with the Golden Sisters, but that's all right. I'm just trying to survive for a Star Spring. I want the Life Steal unit. Sort of like these astral protections that can protect the Life Steal unit. Keeping eight mana available for both of these. I think I have to let that happen. Yeah, I think I have to let that happen. That's too bad. I can't, I can't, like, Astral Protection is too valuable. Especially with the card like Soraka, I can't, I just can't use the other one. Be it 
All right, so it's going to move us from 7 to 14. So we need 8 more damage to heal. You can see that our opponent is doing 8 damage to our units. That, that seems like a convenient number. Okay, so this is going to heal f three. I already drew a card from healing. Yeah, I'm one short. Going for it. Going for the win. No protection available for me. Just going for the win. Is that 18 right now? There we go. Healed each one at once. So that'll get to 22. There we go. The stars will remember this day. And we got Zillion Nasus. Second time playing against Zillion Nasus. We're going to get rid of you and you. Yeah. Like, Pale Cascade, Guiding Touch both draw cards. So it's, like, hard to mulligan those. But it's... I don't know if they're really that necessary. But they draw cards. We want our champions and Star Spring. So make, like, maybe I should even be mulliganing Boxtopus. This matchup because it's just our champions and star spring are like really all we want and or need. So maybe we should have. Hey, there's a champion. Maybe we should mulligan the box twist as well. Oh, I guess I could play you. Still have two mana. I, I want to save two mana for protection. So I could have played you, could have attacked for two already. So, little punish there. Yeah, I think Zillion Nasus is pretty good. Get a lot of card advantage, got a lot of removal. You get like your Merciless Hunters. We we tried it before with Zillion Kindred, but I think the Nasus is just the is just the better card that you need at the top end. So our best card to find is Star Spring. I don't think they're gonna play any. Landmark removal. Star Spring or Tom Kench, but probably Star Spring. Arda's gonna make a meal of them. We shall weave our own destiny. Wrap them up tight. Okay, so that's not Star Spring, but that can find Star Spring. I don't think I maybe just do that this round. I know I could, so I could play Boxtopus and attack and heal Boxtopus and stuff like that, but I kind of need Star Spring in play first. All right, three mana. I think I'm just gonna draw the landmark first. We'll just sit back and hang out. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Pu Puppy's just been sleeping all stream.
So they probably could have got me if they would have just waited till after, you know, like if they just attack and I, I probably do that and block a 2-3 and then keep it at 3-1 and then they go hard afterwards. They could have maybe got me. That's right. Run! I cannot go. That's just a terrible attack. Letting my Soraka block the Fearsome Hunter. Allowing that to happen. It's not a good attack. By starlight. Right, three out of four. Stars fall. Ooh, you wee scruff. Take heart. The possibilities are infinite. Take heart. Live with So my, my best play would have been like playing box to post first and then like heal like this box to post and have like this 3-3 challenge something else. You know, like that would have been nice, but um I didn't want you know, I just wanted to attack immediately. I didn't want things to go wrong. I'm not afraid! The deck's got a lot of card draw. Gotta find those go hard somehow. Okay, so our star spring is at 10. Yeah, it's Grant Vulnerable. Okay, we'll have you heal you. You challenge there. You challenge here. You challenge there. You challenge there. We just go kill a bunch of stuff. Star Springs at 16. Yeah, ruination. Okay. So 16. 17, 18. Alright, so we're at 20. All we gotta do is heal two more, which we can only heal one on that Soraka. And only wait, one on the box to put. Oh, no, no, because no, this got the Bastion plus one plus one, so we can heal two. Yeah. Alright, so we can heal two with the Guiding Touch. Gonna find a gift for an action. Right, Arda? Unfortunately, I don't get to Bastion. The, there we go, the Star Spring. Okay, four and one. Today we have determined our own fate. GG's. All right, so Soraka Tom Kench still looks like it's in a pretty good spot with this new metagame. We we did see a lot of like the you know kind of newish popular decks, right? Like we saw a lot of new decks. We did lose to that uh, the very first one with the Shivana. Uh, dragon deck with them just having Shivana and a bunch of great Demacia um, interaction, you know, Shivana plus the Screeching Dragon and Demacia interaction, and that's that's tough. That's a tough one to, to defeat. Um, you know, that's that's going to be a tough matchup, I think, for our deck just in general. So no surprise we lost that one, but I, I, we did really well against um, all the Sharima decks. Then we played against four other Sharima decks. We played against um, one Aurelia Azir, and we won that one. It was close. But um, our Star Spring and our champions really helped out there, and so we, we did win that. And then we beat two of the new Zillion Nasus control deck, like Go Hard Control, um, with tons and tons of card advantage. We saw lots of Preservariums 
in those games. And then also another deck with that played multiple Preservariums with the Renekton um, LeBlanc deck uh, that also tried to... They had a lot more aggressive stuff that played a bunch of big units and then also had a lot of card advantage to back that up, but we got enough defense, enough Nexus healing. Um, really, in that game, a card like Broadback Protector did a lot for us, healing our Nexus a whole bunch. So yeah, so I think this... this you know, looked like it played pretty well. Like it looked like the control deck of choice right now. Like that that go hard zillion, Nasus deck. That deck looked like a very good matchup um, because they just try to slay all your units. We don't really have units to slay, or the ones that we do have are pretty difficult to slay. And so we made their life really really tough. And we also have a lot of card advantage, right? Soraka is drawing a card every single round. You have a lot of other cards that say draw a card as well, so you can keep up with them with your card advantage as well. And, uh, yeah, then, then the Aurelia Zier, I don't know if it's, like, necessarily, like, a good, I don't know exactly who's favored in that, but we were, it, we did have a very good hand, and we are able to barely win, and they didn't play a champion right away, but they also had, like, some, some good interactions, some key interaction, like, that they needed, and, and that made my life more difficult, so I don't know, like, that, you know, felt like definitely a winnable matchup, though. So, Soraka Tom Kench could be a pretty viable uh, choice right now. Not a whole lot of Shivana, Zoe, Aurelian Soul kind of decks running around out there right now, but there are some. And we saw that was a tough one with our first game. All right, but anyway, that's going to be it here for Soraka Tom Kench. So, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, y'all know that drill. Hit that like button. Leave the, leave those comments. If you This is definitely a deck that I know some of y'all are playing. If you're one of those people playing some Soraka Tom Kench, Leave those comments. Let me know how it's going for you. Let me know how you like it in the current metagame. Um, and everybody else that's watching the video, you know, let them know how it's going for you. Um, you know, that feedback's always uh, helpful and um, appreciated. But I also appreciate y'all for watching. So thank you so much, and I will see you for the next video.